Hi, I'm Mike Wilson, Product Manager of Display Measurement Systems with Westar Display Technologies. Here today we're going to talk about motion-based measurement systems and if they're still relevant. First, a little bit of background about Westar Display Technologies for those that don't know who we are. We're a leading supplier of automated display measurement systems, optical instruments, test pattern generators, LCD controllers, and video processors. We serve a wide variety of markets, and we've been in the business for almost 30 years now. Where our display measurement systems cover the range from micro displays and cell phones up to 110 inch displays. So for today's discussion, a little bit of background on the motion-based versus array-based uh, instruments and systems. So array-based instruments are instruments like uh, camera-based instruments for uniformity, uh, also known as video photometers or uniformity analyzers, and then conoscopic systems for viewing angle. On the motion-based side, motion-based measurement systems require moving a display and typically use a spot photometer or spectroradiometer, which must be moved for each measurement, and the display can be tilted and turned for viewing angle or moved for uh, uniformity measurements. The benefits of the array-based instruments is that they can provide uh, fast measurements. So you can measure a full display for uniformity in one acquisition. And you can measure a full viewing cone, all viewing angles, in a single acquisition with one of the conoscopic instruments. Motion is not required with these, but it could still be helpful. So you can use motion, you can mount one of these systems, uh, instruments on a motion-based system to set working distance and focus, to center the instrument over the display under test. And these array-based instruments uh, are also needed, especially the, the camera-based instruments, for uh, some pixel level high resolution measurements, things like character contrast, grill contrast, and area uniformity. The benefits of motion-based systems, and we'll get into more detail in, in future slides, uh, they're standard-based, they have inherent accuracy, they're highly flexible, and the motion is one component of a complete measurement system. It can be a centerpiece to which you can attach various instruments, display drive, uh, the motion itself, light sources for reflection, and automated uh, sequencing of the test and reporting. The standard-based aspect of motion-based measurement systems is that many of the display measurement standards are based on spot photometers and motion-based goniometric systems. These illustrations are from the SID uh, International Display Metrology Standard, version 1.03. So the motion-based systems for these measurements are directly applicable, and there's no need to prove equivalence in the measurement. They're also inherently accurate. You can use best-in-class spot-based instruments to provide high sensitivity and color accuracy, uh, instruments for low light, uh, spectroradiometers for spectral color measurements, and only the position of the instrument relative to the display and the test pattern changes between measurements. What this means is that you're looking through the same optics, the same measurement spot, and the same detector, so the measurement side does not change from measurement to measurement, just the position of the display under test changes. So this provides reference level accuracy and it becomes a fundamental measurement. For an array-based instrument, you have to apply secondary calibrations to compensate for uh, differences between photo sites on the detector, uh, looking through optics at uh, different angles, uh, things like that. Also, on a motion-based system, you can use a spot photometer. You can use the same instrument for your center screen measurements, your gamma curves, your color gamut, your sequential contrast ratio, and you can move it for uniformity and for viewing angle measurements. So one instrument can cover all those measurements. And another aspect of the motion-based goniometric systems is flexibility. So you can use multiple instruments on the same system, including the array-based instruments, your cameras and, and conoscopes. So what we see in the uh, upper right here is a, one of our Westar systems that has 
at least you can see in the picture two instruments on there and there's probably tucked behind there a th at least a third instrument. And you can switch between instruments as you're making measurements. You can um, attach power supplies, test pattern generators, uh, light sources for reflection measurements, and automate the whole process and standardize uh, generate a report as a result. So next we're going to get into some examples of some measurements and we'll look at how you would do these measurements with an array-based instrument uh, without motion and how you would do it uh, with an array or spot-based measurement uh, instrument with motion. So the first example we're going to look at um, is sampled uniformity. This is from uh, IDMS section 8.1. It is kind of the basic measurement that everybody does, a nine-point uniformity on a display or a five-point uniformity, whatever. The requirement of this measurement is that we're measuring multiple points on the DUT surface and we're measuring though each of those measurements is made normal perpendicular to the display surface. In this measurement the camera based systems uh, have no advantage because you really need to move the instrument and center the instrument over each measurement spot. If you're going to do it with a camera based system you would need to move the camera out you know uh, a great distance ideally infinity. This is one where a motion based system has an advantage. The next is uh, we're looking at is a sampled vantage point uniformity. This is IDMS 8.1.2. And so in this measurement, we're looking at the display the way an operator or a person would from a fixed eye position. So the measurement at the center is typically perpendicular to the display, and the corners are at uh, various viewing angles. Now, a camera-based instrument can do this measurement in one acquisition. So this is where the array-based instruments shine. But the lens must be located at the vantage point. So if you're going to do multiple eye points, you have to move the instrument, the lens, to those eye points and make the measurement. You can do the same measurement with a spot photometer and a motion-based system. And here we have to do it in multiple acquisitions. But the instrument lens does not have to be at the vantage point. All that's required is that each measurement, the line of sight of the instrument, pass between the vantage point, uh, from the instrument through the vantage point to the spot that you're measuring on the display. So this offers you greater flexibility. So the instrument can be at a fixed working distance and you can change your vantage point. Uh, you can locate it in front of or behind the instrument. On our FPM uh, systems, we do vantage point measurements with uh, a move coordinate system we call Design Eye Point. The Design Eye Point interface handles a standard vantage point measurement as shown up above where you have a, uh, you can specify an eye position relative to the display and then you can put a measurement spot location anywhere on the display and the viewing angle uh, changes as you move across the display surface. But we, we designed the Design Eye Point with a few more variables in there to account for vehicular measurements for, for aircraft and automotive. So it also includes a universal vehicle coordinate system so you can locate the eye and the display in a fixed geometry. You can also account for display tip and tilt. And you can use this to, to measure the display from a driver or pilot's position and then do similar measurements at a co-pilot's or passenger's position and see how the viewing performance changes. Going back to our uh, list of measurements, another standard measurement is viewing angle. So here we're measuring various parameters, luminance, chromaticity, and contrast at various angles. This is where a conoscopic instrument can do the full viewing cone in one acquisition. But you mainly run into limitations at extreme angles. It, as you go to wider viewing angles, the lens has to be very close, almost touching the display surface, maybe an eighth of an inch away. And the other aspect is that the optics have to be corrected. There may be chromatic aberrations that are hard to control in the optics. So if you're doing color measurements, um, 
out at extreme angles, you may get some color shifts. So with a, a spot photometer on a goniometric system, the disadvantage is you have to do multiple measurements, but you can still do the full viewing cone as shown in the, on the right-hand side there. Those are done on a Westar system with a spot photometer. But, um, so depending upon the instrument you use, you can have very high low light performance. Uh, the color accuracy is very high, especially if you're using a uh, spectroradiometer, and the optics don't change with viewing angle, just the, the display does, so you can get accuracy out to the extreme angles. And the instrument can be located further away from the, from the display. On the Westar systems, we offer uh, spot tracking, which is uh, where you can locate a measurement spot anywhere on the display surface. The display can be mounted anywhere on the goniometer. And as you tip and turn the display, the working distance is maintained and the line of sight, the instrument spot, measurement spot, stays fixed on the display surface as you sweep the display in tip and turn. The last measurement we're going to look at is line luminance and contrast, this is IDMS 7.1. Here we're looking at an individual line on a background typically a white line on a black background. And this is one where you really need to use an array-based or camera-based instrument. But a motion-based system can help automate this measurement. So it's recommended when making this measurement that you use a replica mask, which is a piece of black uh, plastic or black material, to simulate a black line so that you can get a, a measure of veiling glare and compensate for that. So in this example, we used uh, a motion-based, one of our Westar systems with a uh, radiant prometric camera to measure a display. And we had replica masks mounted in the horizontal and vertical orientations. And we moved and made measurements of the replica masks and then moved to uh, another location on the display and measured uh, display lines, horizontal and vertical lines, and then did the calculations analysis and plotted all the results in a spreadsheet. In summary, array-based instruments and spot instruments are both useful dis for display measurement. Each instrument type has its benefits and limitations, so you can apply the instrument that's best suited for a particular measurement you're trying to make. Motion-based goniometric system increases the capability of both instrument types, and it can, be, it can automate the process, increase repeatability, you can control multiple instruments at the same time, use the best instrument for the task, we can integrate test pattern generation, reflection lighting, and power into one system, and it provides the flexibility to handle new measurements as they are developed. If you have a need for motion-based measurement systems, Westar Display Technologies offers its FPM line of measurement systems, the FPM H series, V series, and F series. These are all five-axis goniometric measurement systems that can mount multiple instruments. In addition, we represent Topcon, which manufactures spot-based photometers and spectroradiometers and array-based instruments like the UA-10, UA-200, and now the SR-5000, which is an array-based instrument that can do full-spectrum measurements at each pixel. That concludes our presentation. Thank you for your attention. If you're interested in finding out more about display measurement systems at Westar Display Technologies, you can visit us online at westardisplaytechnologies.com.